Morning. Welcome to part two of this series that I'm running all week, all about moving the needle in your business or your brand. So yesterday I talked about reconnecting with your vision and your why and why you're doing all of these things. And today I'm going to go a bit more on the mechanics of the internal shifts that you need to make in order to support that moving of the needle. So I know that Nike told us to just do it, but I know that in my experience that the actual doing, the pressing go or the making the payment or the actioning the tasks or the picking up the phone call, it requires other stuff behind the scenes. It requires other stuff in order to make that happen. And the best piece of um, advice that I can give you within the context of this is to really notice what your patterns are and also to notice what other people's patterns are because there might be some things that you can borrow. So as I mentioned yesterday, one of the things that I know that is really going to move the business, move my business forward and also move the needle within my business is consistency for me. I know over the summer I've been a little bit like this. I've been going up and down and I'm here and I'm there and I need to find a way that I can show up morning. I can show up in a way that consistency feels good to me because for me consistency is not just me being a robot and going hi so I'm here even though I'm like dead behind the eyes and I'm not doing uh, what I want to be doing within my business finding that ease and flow where I can work with the rhythm that feels really good yet show up and grow my business and take things seriously and do things professionally and all of that and find that nice balance for me. So when I'm talking about, say, that consistency for me, um, that bit before is really important. Understandingly, (laughs) consistency, maybe not constantly. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you, darling. That's lovely. Um, So the consistency for me is not just going, right, Nikki, right, right, right. I'm just going to be more consistent now. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Come on. Have a word with myself. Come on. You know when you see those like um, films where they know that they've got to get the final goal or they've got to get the, the final hoop and they kind of all come together and they just like pump each other up and they give like the, the, the captain, I don't even know if that's the right term, might give them a slap on the back or the slap on the ass and going, right, Now this is your turn. Well, I tried that with myself going, come on, Raby, come on, do it, do it. It doesn't work because A, I laugh at myself like, why are you doing that weird voice? Why is that happening? But also that's not going to work consistently because that is a different energy in itself. What is a better use of my time is being more gentle is really harnessing, I guess, that more parent side of me. So with my kids, like my um, my five-year-old's gone to school today. It's the first time they're doing swimming at school. There's a lot of chat. There's a lot of, you know, will I be able to do my buttons up and how will this work? And when do I get naked? And when do I, do? like all the questions. He had some concerns about what that would look like. So he was airing those. The worst thing I could have done is going, come on, come on, you're going to be the best. Go, 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 go. So instead, and gosh, I'm not professing to be some kind of parenting process or parenting expert, but I'm just sharing my process is last night I was like, right, let's go through your stuff so you know where everything is. That's going to be in your front pocket, etc. So when you're thinking about making these moves in your business about moving the needle, It's really about working that process, those steps before. So if you've got a goal, for example, to make more money or to become more consistent or to get more clients, what are the activities or the shifts or the habits that you need to try on, play with, experiment before that moment happens where you go, oh, I'm really moving the needle. So I might, a month from now, have a moment going, oh, I've really moved the needle. I'm showing up consistently. I'm doing what I wanted to do. 
But in order to do that, I've had to notice my systems. I've had to notice how I'm actually spending my time. Am I actually spending time and energy and effort in looking after myself and being aware and noticing what works and what doesn't? Am I giving myself that time and space to really listen to my intuition and really listen to my instinct, which is how I wanna run my business? I don't want to be a copy cutter, cutty, what am I trying to say? Cookie cutter. I don't wanna be a cookie cutter version. You know when you can tell where some coach is trained or what course they've just done because suddenly you're like, hmm, it sounds like they're selling in a way that somebody told them to and they look and feel a bit awkward doing that. Part two of part two of how to move the needle in your business or your brand. Um, yeah, the person who was supposed to be coming to do some gas checks at two o'clock today came like two hours early. So anyway, um, right, where was I? I'm talking about that process before you make those moves. Before you say, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yes, I'm going to commit. Yes, I am going to do the thing. And yes, I'm going to see if I can build some momentum in that area. And I've been talking about that bit before. So those habits, those things that you need to put in place in order to support that growth, in order to make that move. Because I know, as I've said in the previous video, that Nike says like, oh, just do it. But we are all busy and we are all carrying many things, many patterns, thoughts, feelings, habits that we've taken on. And in order to create change, sometimes that takes a bit of a process. So on one hand, we can go, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go for a run. But to create that consistency, to create that longevity, sometimes it takes a bit of a shift in order to um, really get those things in place. So one final thing that I want to share with you today is the power of two sides of the same coin. So at the beginning of 2021, I knew that I was gonna be 40 this year. And with that, I was playing around with what my word of the year was. And I came up with the word fly. I um, have been in London for 21 years now and I've worked really hard. I've done all kinds of things and trainings and oh my goodness. Um, I'm definitely not one of these people who's like, yeah, the job's really easy. I just sit at the same desk and I've been there 21 years. I feel like I've been stretched and pulled and elevated and like had lots of fun along the way. But also I wouldn't necessarily say that it's one where I've just been able to kind of turn up and nod and smile and then leave again. But absolutely, that, that is my choice as well. Um, I really want that variation in my career. But when I was thinking about my word of the year, I thought how lovely would it to be would it be to be in that place of flight of like woo let's go let's do this let's allow all of that work that's been done up until this point to elevate me and let me soar and for other that's you know a personal measurement as well that's not like i'm going to fly above the clouds and um just look down on people you know that is not the vibe at all but just to have that effortlessness i guess that ah oh, i can just enjoy the process but with that word fly i've also understood what that other side of the coin must look like which is i need to ground i need to be um weighted and rested and considered and in clarity and in rest, in um, absorption. I need to have all of those other words to counteract the flight. So for example, those long distance flights, remember those, um, if you're going to the other side of the world, it's unlikely that you will get one direct flight that will take you all the way there. There will be a stopover, there'll be a changeover, there will be a moment where people need to come back down and change aeroplanes or any of those sorts of things. And that's always an invitation to refuel and reconnect and get ready for that next part. And that part is equally as important as just the flight. So last week or the week before, 
we got a brand new mattress. That was one of my commitments in this flight is making sure that actually my rest time was going to be really considered and have that discernment. Is this my daughter being awake? No, great. Um, you know when you hear them and you're like, what are you are you getting up already? No, because I've got things to do. Um, I don't think she is. I think it was just the wind. Anyway, um, so yeah, purchasing that mattress and having that in place was really um, a game changing move. And also, I pulled out a lamp, and I don't know why it had been in a cupboard, but it had um, my Lumi light, which helps me wake up to daylight every day, which kind of kick starts my day and really supports me right through those kind of oh, it's suddenly all a bit dark and miserable outside. So, taking those steps and making those moves will allow me to do the thing, will allow me to be in that state of flight, of enjoying that process. So, good morning. Good morning, Joe. Um, I would love to hear how you get on with this. Today, I'm talking about the things that you need to do in order to do the thing that you actually want to do. Because I know people will just say, go on then, kid, get on with it. Or the analogy I used in part one was that moment where the football coach comes on and just gives you a slap around the shoulders and goes, right, come on, let's do it, let's do it. But we know, because we're human beings living the human experience that it takes a bit more care and consideration to actually do the things that we want to do so um yeah me too joe me too you feel free to go back and watch this but all week i'm going to be here talking about how we can move that needle in your business or your brand and when i'm talking about that needle sometimes it isn't that like completely moving it into a different place Sometimes it's those tiny incremental things that you do, which will have that beautiful effect um, and that consistent effect. Because I've also really had this realization that I'm not just doing this for a year to burn out and then just disappear. Like I really wanna be doing this into my 70s or 80s or I don't know, 90s. Let's see how we go, hey, let's see. Um, anyway, thanks for being with me. I will leave it there. I will also upload this video. I'm doing this seamless, like changing hand. Um, I'll also upload the full video onto my YouTube channel as well. The final thing I wanna say is I am doing my final Jam and Plan uh, day of the year um, next week and it's going to have some new additions. So tickets will be live later, look out for those. Um, I'm just getting the go ahead on when the page will go live. Um, yeah, have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and I'll speak to you very soon, and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what time it will be yet, because, you know, juggling, baby, sleep, don't know when that will quite be, but as soon as I can, I'll give you a notification in my stories, and I'll see you there. All right, lots of love, bye.